Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I wanted to review something. Yeah, I want to review something. Yes, yeah, review channels. I, I try to review stuff. And then some videos some are completely different. You never know. You might get Route 66. You might get something else. Um, I want to talk about... There's, I mean, we're talking about uh, Tales of the Dark Side, right? You know, I watched that show, iconic show. I watched every episode of that. Then I know Monsters came out, Freddy's Nightmare came out in 1988. Now, I was in the Army, and I missed a lot of those episodes. They only seen two episodes of Freddy's Nightmare because whenever it ended, they were shot on videotape. I bought two of them. And I saw some episodes of Monsters because they did show reruns of that on uh, a TV40 on, in Fort Bragg, and then I've seen a couple on YouTube just recently. But, what I started thinking about was the one horror episode that freaked me out as a kid. I mean, there was a couple ones, like the mannequin one was scary, and like that, I mean, a couple are scary, but one that freaked me out. I had one part that freaked me out. And it's like, one of the memorable episodes of a show that wasn't that memorable. I couldn't even remember what it was called. I thought it was One Step Beyond. It was called Tales of the, of the Unexpected. It used to play in the afternoon on a, the ABC affiliate. Uh, and I can, I mean, it was a British show. Half hour long. It Robert Dahl or Robert Dahl, Robert Dahl or something like that. Tales of the Unexpected. And there was an episode of Royal Jelly. About something made for the bees. Bees make this Royal Jelly. They help. Um, and increase, like, the size of the queen, and, I mean, it's like some special growth hormone type thing, you know? And this is the episode everyone always talks about. This is the only episode I remember. I remember one part freaked me out as a kid, and then whenever they showed a rebroadcast of it, I kind of braced myself for that part, that moment. I was like, oh, man, I can't remember what freaked me out as a, as a kid. Um, so, I mean, I started thinking about it last week. I looked it up. Well, first of all, I thought one step beyond. I just saw a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, black and white episodes. They weren't black and white at all, so that was wrong. I started looking up TV show Roll Jelly Horror TV Horror Roll Roll Jelly, and I found the episode. It was tells me unexpected, very bizarre beginning and end. Like they have dancing girls, and they show like. Uh, like a gun and like a couple of masks. It's a really strange uh, beginning ending to it. And it starts off with the guy telling the story of what his story was. And he said he went to a store and he saw like this royal jelly in a two-ounce jar. And, I mean, this came out in 1980. I thought it was like a little later than that, but 1980. So I was like in fifth grade. Um, and I mean, and in the comments I saw some people said this episode freaked me out as a kid too. So I wasn't alone. It, just, it wasn't just me. Anyways, he, he read a story. By the way, I'm drinking a Japanese beer. If anyone wants to know. I mean, if you want to see what I think of this uh, Sahi beer. Because people are going to ask me why I'm drinking. Um, check out the the video whenever you know it comes up. Anyways, I mean, I thought I should review this episode because it was so memorable as a kid. I want to know if other people had the same memories as they, I did. And uh, some people said it freaked them out as a kid, too. And it's the only episode everyone remembers. I'm not saying the show is bad, but that's the only episode I remember. Well, anyways, it revolves around... While well, they talk, he tells the story. He says he saw this jar of royal jelly, this one thing for like... Uh, 200 things for like 350 bucks, right? Expensive. So he wrote a story about it. And a few years later, Dick Van Dyke sent him like 17 vials of royal jelly. After he read the story. And then he was going to say what happened. He said, well, if I tell you what happened, it'll ruin the story. And then the story unfolds. And it involves this guy who's a beekeeper. And he so probably had like the little special on the news they're going to do about him. He went from like one hive to like 84 hives and stuff, right? And his wife was played by Susan Jordan. She, they have a baby. And the baby, for whatever reason, won't eat that much. Or baby eat anything. And she was afraid the baby was going to pass away from malnutrition. Because the baby won't eat and just cry and not eat at all. She was worried she fell apart. She fell to pieces. And the guy said, well, I'll leave it to me. I'll take care of it. And uh, what happened was the guy was feeding the baby royal jelly that the bees would feed to its larvae, including, like, the queen bee. And it kept feeding the queen bee a lot. And the baby stepped... Whoa. The baby started... Get, I don't want to give anything away, 
But the thing that freaked me out was right at the very end. That's what freaked me out as a kid. I watched it again. Like, that wasn't a big deal at all. But as a kid, it was. It really was. It's so how different we view things then. Just because, like, now I'm, like, horror movies. Go I mean, I don't like horror movies, but gore and stuff like that. I remember, like, John was saying something about, like, Friday, the original Friday the 13th at the end when that kid jumps up and grabs the girl, he's all covered in yuck. And there's a photo of that on a uh, cover of Fangoria. And I know, uh, I think John's brother said, wanted to get it. And he said, no, that's gross. And at the time, I thought that was gross too. Now I did not have that phase me at all. Um, but that's how we do things differently. No, it freaked me out as a kid, though. But the episode's great. Bring back memory. I give it a 9 out of 10. And I think that's the famous episode. That, I mean, because I read the comments and said that's the only episode people remember. I'm not saying it's a bad show. It's the only episode I remember. I should watch some different episodes too, but I mean, I had to watch that one and see what the heck scared me, what freaked me out, or I don't know if it scared me, it just disturbed me as a kid. And watching it again, it's like it wasn't that big of a deal, you know. So, give it a nine out of ten for the Royal Jelly episode of Tales of the Unexpected. Uh, I mean, if you get, I think I said it to read. I don't know if you saw it yet or not. Like, I mean, it's on YouTube. It's like twenty-one minutes. Um, it's very entertaining, and, uh, just the beginning, what they chose for the beginning and ending, uh, credits is kind of strange, but it played in the afternoon TV. Um, so I hope you like to review it by, till next time, please. Take care of my leech. Where's this at? Yeah. Okay, here it is.